for fat loss, the meal timing is not going to make a difference at all. I want to get that out of the way right now. I will say intermittent fasting is great for people that have hunger issues. I find that it's great for controlling hunger. So when people try to condense all of their day's food into a window at the end of the day, usually people have an easier time sticking to that. Now that we have that out of the way, it is not great for muscle growth. Yes, there are growth hormone releases that occur when you go on a longer fast, but the research is pretty clear. Growth hormone within the normal physiological ranges is not going to significantly or maybe even not at all impact muscle growth. But actually intermittent fasting can cause you to lose out on muscle growth. When you eat a meal containing protein, you will see a spike in protein synthesis, muscle growth, and it will last over the next two to five hours. It'll spike up and then it'll slowly taper back down depending on what you've eaten. So that's where the crowd that eats 10 meals a day is like, oh yeah, we'll spike it up 10 times. So the 10 meal a day crowd, they were kind of onto something, but then they found out there's what's called a refractory period. So you spike protein synthesis up and then they're trying to spike it again, right? But the thing is, they've actually found that you cannot spike it again until it reaches baseline again. So it needs to come up and come back down again before you can spike it again. So then I think the intermittent fasting crowd is like, oh, we will eat giant meals, right? We'll eat giant meals and we'll spike it up really high. But it doesn't work that way either. There's something called the leucine threshold where there is a cap to how much you can spike protein synthesis at any one given time. 